to us With our mouth bridging and collide such and guess it's all Thirty. What? Twenty. Ten. Huh? Go. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, what? And then huh? you and then you clap. You like, wait, wait, no, I wasn't ready for anything. What? Uh, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I just stood here. I just what? stood I just stood here. What numbers are the uh football players calling out when they say those numbers? Sometimes they're referencing actual numbers of players on the defense. So like they'll say the actual number of a player on the defense and that'll mean Look that, out for that guy. Watch it. out. Exactly. Uh, sometimes the the numbers are absolutely meaningless, and it's like a decoy thing. Uh, uh, or sometimes it'll it'll mean for a certain player to run to a certain section of the field. They ever do like phone numbers? <laughs> no, that's way too many numbers. Okay. It's usually only two numbers at most. Two numbers or one number, like single digit or double digits. Mm. I don't know why I said two numbers or one number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so quite a large you know, amount of numbers. You know how like a nine and then a ten is? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's like that. <laughs> 910 or something. Yeah, but those are the different um, choices of what the numbers could mean that the quarterback is yelling when nice. he's yelling. My favorite is when they're meaningless. When I play uh, football, I like to yell colors. Ooh! Like I'll just yell. I swear, I I will. I play flag football. I used to a lot, and uh, I'll I'll yell. I'll run up to the line. And I'm usually the center, and um, we would actually use different codes for different things. Like Cream we would cheese. say, uh, no, <laughs> that'd be a good one. Um, <clears throat> we would say like uh, the name of a football team, an NFL team meant uh, that we were going to blitz or that we were going to do something. Um, Ooh, but if crazy. we said a color, or, yeah, if we said a color, that was meaningless. So I'd run up to the line and be like, orange, orange, you know, just start yelling orange, red. It's com- totally meaningless. My so. God, activation code. Oh, magenta. <laughs> <laughs> Take him down. That's one of the things I love about college football that's really fun is uh, there's very vocal. Like, there's a lot of people yelling. There's a lot of yelling in general. Um, so there's just... There's a lot of that going on. Which I is just, fun. I just like yelling. <laughs> ah, I do. I like enthusiasm. You know, that's that's the best part about entertainment because you just lose yourself in the moment. You just have a good time. Hopefully, nobody gets too hurt. But I say too <laughs> hurt because it's football. We all know what we're here for. Let's not let's not kid ourselves. The yeah, car crash. The celebration. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> we're here for the fight songs and cheerleaders. No, man, we're here to watch grown men give each other concussions. Let's let's whatever, get real. That's whatever what do you mean? <laughs> but that's why I like college football so much. It's just the, the enthusiasm in general. With enthusiasm. Like, like I like uh, NFL a lot, but I'm a Jets fan, so I'm a miserable person <laughs> yeah. because th- they're not a good franchise or team, and. Life is hard sometimes. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to RLF, everyone. Welcome to RLF, where we have first world problems. And my name is Nikolai. <gasps> my name is Swarley Bunghole. <laughs> oh, man. What? It has nothing to do with Sw- my butt, though. Swarley Bunghole? <laughs> yes, I'm from far off land. Denmark? No. Oh. I feel as if... <laughs> A swarly bunghole is something you could be diagnosed with. Yeah. And that's gross. Yeah. Would it be like twisted? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> swarly <coughs> bunghole. I'm sight you and I do not approve of this message. <laughs> Sorry to hear. <laughs> What's wrong with this butthole? Oh, he's got swarly butthole. Oh, oh my god, what does that mean? Oh, what does that mean? Oh, it's twisted. Oh. Oh. It's like a duck's What's ding twisted? Dong. The butthole. Yeah. Uh, the, the whole the whole bung, bung piece is... Uh, <laughs> bung it's, piece. All, it's all jacked up. It's all it's twisted right on up. We're going to need to replace the uh, bung piece here. <laughs> You're on to get this like, baby on the road. <laughs> Why'd you... Have... <laughs> Just got to do it. Gotta well, pay up. That was a delayed laugh. <laughs> but, but that was I enjoyed your joke very much. <laughs> Thank you.
How's your day going, gentlemen? Uh, I'm very you know, curious about this. You know, just, just hanging out. Work. Um, that, that was, you know, work. Let's lead with uh, Big City Living. How How is Big City Living going? Oh, well, we have a stare update for... Uh, this is true. You do not say. Yeah, you know how, like, they fixed it? Okay. Uh, well, it rained a whole bunch one night. Y- yeah, it rained, and then turns out they didn't fix all of them because the bottom of one was just hanging off. Okay. Uh, now, hold on for one one second. I just need a little bit of context here. For anyone who is unaware with the stair um, oh, the, yeah, story. Yeah. Stair corner. The saga, the saga of the stairs for uh, Al and Seich. Uh, when they moved into their new building, it, almost immediately they found that the stairs were completely falling apart. When I say the stairs, I mean the exterior concrete and steel steps that allowed people to enter and exit. The- so you're after yeah. three months of construction on these new stairs, which you just said were all right at best. Yeah, well, they, they did their job. Uh they they were but they looked they were terrible. Yeah. Yeah, and they were like not they evenly were, a, yeah. spaced apart. So like some were higher up. <laughs> it was just weird. Uh mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. and then the bottom of one was hanging off when it rained a lot. Right. And like a lot of the metal chunks Yeah, like the rust off. was all over. It's like rusty. And, uh so then Oh, it's immediately rust cuz they used the wrong steel. They didn't use galvanized steel. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, instead, that's great. Yeah, instead of like <laughs> taking everything down and doing it the right way, they just did stuff. So they huh. were good enough. So now that that flap has fallen, they they repainted the stairs. Yeah, they they painted them but just with like straight black. Yeah. I, I But since it's been cold, it the paint doesn't really Wait a minute, dry wait a minute, quick. wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> you guys, you 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 <laughs> What's what has fallen? Let's backtrack to what what fell. What do you mean something fallen? What fell? Well, like, did we say anything fell? I don't know. Oh, like yes, the yeah, like the well, no, no, they like there was just like the big chunks of like the rust from the bottom of the step. Yeah, they're just little, ch- little tiny baby chunks. Yeah, that's all that fell. Okay, so little like the actual bits of concrete of these new steps are falling apart. Yeah, that might not have been one of the ones they fixed. I guess. Yeah, I but don't know. They should have. And there was a piece okay. of metal hanging too from one of the stairs. Yeah, right. but you know that's okay. Gone. So did they remove the piece of metal? Oh yeah. 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 And then and they that's they good. painted them. Yeah, they repainted them. And then they them. painted them black. Yeah. Now since they've painted them black, that did nothing because that's not structural. No, but they look uh, shinier. Yeah, it's like it's not like just paint. It's like a sludge or some. <laughs> that How makes it sound terrible. It's, well, because it's it's sludge, and then they like put a, up a sign that said wet paint, but like the stairs, like I don't know, it didn't act it, like it. You step on they it. Didn't act like stairs. <laughs> <laughs> so it didn't dry properly. No, it dried, but like they, it took a they while. They painted, but it was cold out. And I stepped. So in. like okay. it, it, I guess like that paint doesn't dry that good in cold. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, Science. But know? either way, so we got wet stairs, not wet stairs, sticky stairs. For how long? Still, like, are they still oh, for sticky? for eternity. A few, few I days. Think. Okay, so they're still sticky. A little bit. Ours recently got unstickified, and now the one next to us is stickified. Yeah, because they just painted those again. So they just uh, painted all the stairs. That's good. Extra okay. paint protection. Hey, that, that's what you want. Painted so stairs. So, has it... I mean, have have you seen any more chunks fall out of the stairs since? No, because they just, they just it finished it, basically. Yeah, well, the paint's holding it together for now. You gotta wait, like, a mm. month. Okay. Give it a couple good rains. Yeah, give it a good, yeah. And then uh, then we'll have some more we'll stairs. We'll come jumps. back and let you know how's it going. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> so how's uh not big city living? Pretty Suburb- all right. Same Suburbia old. town. Suburbia mm-hmm. town. Moonbase Alpha two. Uh no, I'm all right. Uh, I'm dealing with like a cold. Like, I don't know if it's allergies or a cold. I've just had this like. Kind of like nagging cough that won't go away for uh, the past gay, couple uh, weeks. Gay build up. Oh, geez. No, it's not really a thing. Um, <laughs> I mean, maybe it is for you because you've dealt with it, but I, I'm unfamiliar, nor am I 
a homosexual, but uh, good one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know what I did bring? Um, a reason for Tommy Gunn to sing to us, if you'd like. What? Oh my god! I, I don't. Oh, all right. Well, fuck me. Don't no. stop fucking me. <laughs> um, I'm guessing this not, is comments. Yes, it is. Hey, but hold on. Can that please not be the na- the title of the episode? <laughs> Don't stop, <laughs> Don't fucking, stop me. fucking me. <laughs> <laughs> the videos on YouTube have a place called the comment section where people can type out how felt the thoughtful reflections of the videos they just watched. Like here at our left on Wednesdays, now the gang will read a few. Through the heart of Brian, the word Wednesdays. Oh, speaking of uh, the word fuck, I was playing uh, <laughs> GTA Online like the other day. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, and this one guy, being a dick, kept killing me. Oh, typical. So, so I went to like the little messenger thing on like, you can go like the cell phone and like send the person send a message. message. And I just wrote, fuck off, dude. <laughs> and the game, would, <laughs> the game wouldn't let me send it. Really? Yeah. Really? I'm like, you can fuck a hooker in the back of your car. But you can't. But you can't send the word fuck. (laughs) Is that the the first and only time you've ever corresponded in a video game? Yeah, pretty much. Never sent anyone else a message. Yeah. Well, I mean, that. Actually, yeah, no. Because the only other time was, like, Call of Duty when we would all play. Right. Because I'm like, I don't want to talk to other people, make a plan about things, get out of my face. (laughs) <laughs> that is a uh, a part of Matt's life that he speaks to me about pretty frequently, and he brings it to the show sometimes too. And like he'll talk like him speaking to people through video game chats and whatnot. My and like but like strangers and like getting in arguments and stuff. Yeah, like my or, bro- like being <laughs> my brother like, being on Reddit that. and getting and being on Reddit and 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 getting in arguments with people and stuff. And I just never understand it. I just I, I never ever understand it. I mean. I'm not in like a negative way. It's just, but it's just never the way I choose to spend my I time. I guess I don't like people don't enough. <laughs> no, I mean, well, I, I don't think that that's an expression game, of. But I, don't know. I don't think that that's an expression of liking at people what they're doing right there either. That's true. Yeah, if he's having arguments with people. Yeah, that's not liking. Well, people I don't want to talk to other people. Mm. You don't even want to get to that first yeah, stage. Yeah, I don't want to get into arguments with people because I don't care <laughs> what you have yeah, to say true. to me. No, I really don't. I've got more than enough opinions in my life. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm good. Not but, in like a, like, not in like a I don't want any more <coughs> type of way. I'm, I'm, very happy, I'm a very happy person. I'm just saying I'm not looking for the opinions of strangers on the internet. Yeah. Outside of RLF, of course. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even looking for that. <laughs> <coughs> so I'm just like, I'm so ready to bail on this. <laughs> Speaking of which, we are in the comments section, I think. Wow, that's true. Oh, my we God. We are in the comments section. I don't know why you always put it on this screen. Which one's easier? Uh, that that one. All the right. one that's not turned sideways. <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> I don't know how to read anyway. What are you doing? So what do you got for us, Nikolai? Or are we both reading? Don't you dare. Don't you dare talk to me like All that. All right. Mm-mm, girl. Johnny two times though. <laughs> Johnny two times writes Matt and Nikolai alone. Thought provoking insight on interesting topics, and top shelf back and forth banter. Alan Seitz alone. Hilariously awkward nonsense. Mm. Not sure which one I like more. And that's the beauty of our life is because you get both the best of both worlds. Yeah, Johnny. When we're all here, which is not today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is not today. <laughs> <laughs> that is genuinely one of the nicest things I've ever had someone write about I guess us though yeah, thought provoking insight on interesting topics Hell yeah. Johnny you fucking brown nose are you <laughs> <laughs> what is awkward nonsense I, I there's mean, a lot of awkward. <laughs> there's a lot of thought that goes into what I do yeah our bread story <laughs> was in there's depth there's a lot of thought that goes. <laughs> did you say stand down? No, I no. was talking about my bread story. Or our bread uh, story. Excuse me, sorry. Yeah, your bread story. <laughs> what is this? Whoa. <laughs> I, 
trouble. I, I just want. I suddenly I have to this. go shit and not come back. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm about to use the bathroom the majority of the time. <laughs> I want the sound bite of saying, just saying, hey, there's a lot of thought that goes into what I do. <laughs> hey, it's not an hey, accident. Right? Yeah. Tommy Twinkle 69 says, oh God. In the South, <laughs> in the South, you take your shirt off to fight. So the other person can't grab it. But for the most part, it's all because everyone in the South is a little gay. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it's... uh... I've never heard that stereotype before, that everybody in the South is a little gay. Yeah, never. (laughs) I hear it nonstop, because we're all, you know... Don't say we're all a little gay. (laughs) You know, we're all... Is that what you're going for? It's a gradient. What? <laughs> it's it's all what? Thank you, Tommy Tinkles. Oh, right. Thank you, Tommy Tinkles. <laughs> he, he's just skipping over everything he just said. He's like, whatever. Mm, okay. <laughs> uh, next up is conspiracy. And this is really going to add on to this topic. Because I guess there is some validity to Tommy Tinkles' um, uh, thought here. Tanks. Uh, LOL. My dad is a southern homophobe. And I always thought his obsession with wrestling was a little fucking weird. There's nothing wrong with wrestling. Cause gay. Wrestling's like gay. That's literally what the comments reads. Thank you so much for that conspiracy. So last week's episode, that's actually a callback. You know what's a callback? <laughs> I wasn't. So yeah, we weren't weeks. there. So I'm. That's why I'm explaining it. I, I had made a comment <laughs> about how I always found it funny that more often than not. And not necessarily always Southern, but more like there's a majority, a good majority that is Southern where it's, um, yeah, they're a little bit more homophobic, but they're also fans of wrestling and wrestling in and of itself is kind of gay because it's, it's greased stuff buff boys razzling each other. I don't know. Like just touching each other a whole bunch. I mean, if you describe it like that, anything could be gay. They're fighting each other. (laughs) (laughs) Fine. Fine. You want me to describe it more accurately and less trying to make it sound gay? They're men who craft their bodies or mold them into their best versions of themselves. Nice. And yeah. then they oil themselves up. They don't use oil anymore. Eth- Fine. They use water. So they yeah. glisten their tanned, beefed up bodies. Yeah, beefcake. Yeah. They're on TV. They gotta look good. And then they go out and make pretend with their friends while doing very, very athletic and acro- acrobatic things. Yeah, sometimes I make pretend. Sounds like sports. Okay. I would. I mean, we do that on this this podcast. See, but well, I'm, I'm it's, oiled it's, up it's, too. It's a little. It's a little gay. Wait, it's a little gay. When do I we put? Know. When do we put? When do we get watered up? <laughs> I, that's what I do before. Oh, I get watered up and then I. I that's, 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 that's what I'm doing before we start recording. <laughs> oh, I gotta get my my pail. <laughs> gotta get watered up. I gotta get watered up. It's gonna be good tonight. <laughs> they don't use oil anymore. I love that. <laughs> every, every every time you say it, they oil up. Uh, they don't use oil anymore. So <laughs> <laughs> that's the only defense I have. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. So <laughs> I guess there is a little bit of validity to Tommy Tinkles is uh his um fuck southern what he said gay before. thing. Yeah, whatever. All right. Fuck yeah, I mean, words are hard sometimes. <laughs> you know, I don't feel okay. Hey. I was just sitting there judging me. I can feel it in my bones. He's he's got that unknown look. captain says, "I love how Nikolai is talking about how weird it would be for people to have names from another country. <laughs> Nikolai, the American. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. If I'm anything, it's a hypocrite sometimes. More often than not. <laughs> uh, Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey says, I said this once, but I'll say it again. Love your guys' podcast. Really helps me keep trucking on through the long nights. I'm a long-time listener. Long live Slippy. Slippy Tans. Oh, over Winfrey. Big fan of Slippy Tans. Oh, wow. Ooh, bro, Slippy Tans. Man, we need to bring Slippy Tans back more often. Slippy needs to clean up some crime. Oh. Hell yeah. The mop. Detective Slippy Tans. 
<laughs> oh, so detective many. Slippy Tans. Well, Boy, that's a hell. Of, is that what Slippy Tans has been doing? He was. He got. Yeah, he, he took went, the police test. Yeah, he was getting his uh, doctorate and being a cop. Yeah, that's he none of to, that. He went back nope. to school. He was. You saying that he went back to school for his PhD in criminology? Yeah, he got his doctorate for policing. Okay. All right. I don't buy it. What do you mean? What that means? I because I don't even think that you can do that. No, yeah, he, he did it. Well, they teach you all the stuff there's, there when you go. There's there. no doctor, no, po- like doctor, doctor cop. Cop. Yeah, you got a steth- you, you got a ste- <laughs> not a thing. Get a stethoscope with your badge on it. No, no, because yeah. you're not a general PhD. You're not a, like a medical practitioner. Is a gun that shoots medicine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shoots like like Pepto Bismol out yeah. or something. There's a gun that shoots. Well, I mean, isn't that just kind of Star Trek? I feel like all of their medicine is del- de- delivered by gun. Yeah, <laughs> but a- ours would be worse. It would be like Pepto Bismol, like Sage said, just out of a square okay. gun or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a s- oh, okay, a square gun. Not a maybe like gun. a real like gun it. with uh, like it shoots vitamin D. No, that would still probably hurt a lot. <laughs> well, it's like wrapped in like a gusher. We- what? Yeah. Still, yeah, you're, you're shooting also... gushers at people. Then. I love no, velocity. You fucking... Yeah, you lower you you. It's a CO2 cartridge. It's not a uh, yeah. It's open not your mouth, Jimmy. Actual, so it's like uh, it's not actual uh, like one of those powder. airsoft guns or something. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Or but... like one of those spring-loaded ones. So it's even less than that. Yeah, yeah like it's, it's got to uh, look super real. Like yeah. you just uh, looks like a hand and it throws it. <laughs> now it's not a gun. It just what? looks like a hand. Uh, Flippy Towns, what a great character! <laughs> yeah, yeah, he really is. Sight, yeah. you, you really knocked it out of the park with that one. He did. I did. I even come up with Flippy Towns. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I don't know if I came up with the name. I don't remember I, anything. Um, ever. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> you and me both, sister. <laughs> but I really feel like Slippy Towns was your creation for sure. I wonder if there is like a episode where we. The birth of Slippy Tan. Somebody, uh, somebody, go back and tell us. <laughs> go back. I don't want to look. <laughs> <laughs> I think like Spaceman Nikolai is like one thirty-seven or something like that. Hmm. It was a while ago. Um, Slippy then... Toad. <laughs> I, I tried to search. Slippy Toad. He, he... I tried to search for the RRLF uh, Wikipedia. I wrote Slippy Tans, and we got Slippy Toad. From Star Fox. Oh. So that's not... Oh, fuck, fuck the RLF Wikia or whatever it is. Because <laughs> everyone got a bio except for me. There's fucking really? assholes. It's messed yeah. up, RLF Wikipedia. It's such bullshit. I yeah. was like, are you fucking kidding me? I mean, listen, they stopped doing it after 200, and I get it. But, like, how, Still, do, though. how do you not... How yeah. do I not get a bio? Yeah. What the fuck? A main <laughs> cast member. I didn't... Had, I completely forgot we had a Wikipedia uh, page. Wiki yeah. P. A wiki. A wiki P. Wikipedia one. page. That will never be finished. No one finish it in the comments. I'll finish it. Sage is finishing I'll... it. Yeah, right. Could you imagine if Sage listened to more than three episodes of RLF? He'd probably just like make a guess. Like He'd, he'd oh, yeah. probably like look at the title and be like, this is what it was about. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to listen to this. Come on. Nah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I can't picture you ever listening to it, going back and listening. No, the only but time maybe... I thought about it was when we did the, like the split. Moved? A, no, no, God, when we did the split episode. <laughs> split episode. Split yeah, episode. like when uh, uh, like me and Al, 100? and then you and Matt. No, like oh, I went back weeks recently. Back. Yeah, so because I was like, okay. I was gonna listen to your half because I was like, I don't know what. They the, talked what about. bread story they so, had. <laughs> no, that was after I found out about the bread story. Debacle. <laughs> you just wanted to... <laughs> Debac- you say debacle, I say perfectly executed plan by our friend Maddie. Hard. If hard you buy, if you mean perfectly executed plan... You got what uh, he deserves, what I say. It's bullshit plan. All, the, all they got you, was a great whoa. bread story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What do you what do you mean? What do you mean he got what he deserved? You know. He should have been That's, That sounded super ominous since yeah, he's not he here. Yeah. Jadis D during October and now Spook Scare got him. No, that's right. 
Scoot, scoot, oh scare. Scoot, scare. Scoot, scare. Scoot, scare. Scoot, scare. You don't think that he was silly enough to go around Jane as Dean? He had October, to. Right? He's probably bragging about it. He's <laughs> probably. <laughs> Jane, my Dean, October, everyone. Oh, wow. everybody knows you can't do that. Everybody. Oh my God! I just realized it's October. We didn't do a sketch. Yeah, that's what, what me and Sitch were talking. Yeah, about. Yeah, we were talking about the other day. I didn't even realize that. Oh shit! Well, we we um. Well, maybe I won't see you this job. coming weekend. Probably not. Yeah. Um, I will say that next week, uh, I'm gonna save it for all of us because uh, we do have two fan arts. We have one from uh, E Borge. Schmeliot. Schmeliot, but that's for Ooh, next week. Ooh, Elliot Borge. And uh, White Guy Wasted as well. You uh, sent in one. Oh wow, it's been a while for White Guy Wasted. Yeah. Oh, crazy. Looking forward to it. So we will be showing those next week when Matt has returned, hopefully. Um, or not. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Um, yeah, I could do a story, though, I guess. If you want. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Or not, man. I don't know. But what would you like to do? <laughs> no, no, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> it's just super non-committal about the whole yeah. 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 podcast we're currently mm, doing thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess uh, yeah, I we guess we can do that. To, guess. So what are we, what are we doing Ooh. with this? All right, there's uh, there's three of us. So each one of, one of us gets who, what, where. Uh, we're going to say that the who is... <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'll do the what. Okay. Uh, he is getting unfrozen after being cryogenically frozen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unfrozen from cryogenics. And where is this going to take place in a, a supermarket freezer aisle? He's, okay. He's exploding out. Right next to the hot pockets. Oh yeah, get ready, Stone Cold. And I guess we don't really have a uh, no objective. He'll figure it out. Yeah, I don't really. Yeah, what could he? <laughs> well, yeah, he's getting unfrozen. He has to figure out what's what, going on. Yeah, exactly. Um. So are we doing what one sentence each? Yeah. Cause then, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how much I, until I fuck it up. Yeah, we're like, <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll see how much we can all get out until we just say fuck it. You go. Stone Cold opened his eyes to see frosty ice in front of him. He had no idea where he was. He tried to break out of the glass, but nothing was happening. His arms felt weak and the light was blinding. He heard a lady's voice and some sort of beeping. His body began to get warmer. Now, (laughs) unfreezing process complete. Suddenly the door shot open. Stone Cold Steve Austin was free. But where was he? <coughs> oh, his, his lungs burned. Like, he, like he's breathing for the first time. Where am I? <laughs> where? Where am I? Where am I? Stone Cold said... As he, as he burst out of the the cryopod. Well, oh, looks like I'm at some kind of grocery store. Get myself a couple beers. Stone Cold walks over to the freezer and grabs himself a couple beers. Stumbling on his way like a baby lamb. <laughs> or baby deer, rather. Or a baby lamb. <laughs> baby, baby, like, baby a, lamb. like a baby animal that can't walk but does right away. A baby giraffe. You get it. <laughs> He's got them dumb legs. he got them dumb legs. He cracks a few beers and starts start, uh, uh, iconically just pouring them half down his face, half down his mouth. Uh, suddenly, a man with a long stick glowing at the end sees Stone Cold pouring beers down his mouth. <laughs> oh my god. We've got a we got a containment breach in section 8. The man said into his talking stick. Stone Cold, confused, starts to look for an exit. He doesn't know what's going on. He stumbles towards the door. Pushes the uh, the man who said what Al said. 
Over. <laughs> 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 we got what you described him as. I'm so sorry. It's fine. <laughs> I'm just trying to think about what to say next. <laughs> Stumbling by, he pushes the man over. <clears throat> slams him into the counter and knocks him unconscious. But loses his balance and falls in the process. Oh! <laughs> Stone Cold fell <laughs> down a chute. A chute! <laughs> and flew out into another floor. But now... It was a, it, it was a park. It, how, how the hell did I get into this park? I was just at a grocery store. Man, this, this sure is weird. But what a beautiful and majestic park. Everything's so lush and green. Stone Cold walked over to a family having a picnic. Hey there, family. Where am I? What is this place? The family all look up and start screaming, Breach! Suddenly, robots come out from the bushes and start come after Stone Cold Steve Austin. The family <clears throat> scurrying away with this sound of Breach in the background echoing, Breach! 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 Stone Cold frantically trying to find an exit, doesn't know what to do, and the robots are getting closer. Looks like I'm going to have to teach these metalheads some manners. Stone Cold said, as he double jumped in the air and kicked two robots straight in the dick. <laughs> I'm about to open up a can of whoop ass all over these robots. Stone Cold gives a couple stunners out to these robots, breaking their heads off. Because he's the shit. Three stunners later. Two mud holes walked dry and a flurry of punches that could not be counted. And Stone Cold has defeated the robots. Robots. Now it's time to show this world what I'm made of. Stone Cold began to put together various robot pieces together. I'm gonna build myself some robot armor because I know how to do these things. Stone Cold. Tony Stone. Oh, sorry. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> now you can, you can go. Tony Stark style. But but fuck Tony Stark because he's stone cold. So when he took when it took him like two months in a cave, Stone Cold banged it out in two hours. He got him a stunner suit, yo. <laughs> oh my god. I'm about to stun your fucking faces off. He said. Slamming his fists into the ground. Stone Cold went off <laughs> to defeat the robots and save the world from their tyranny. <laughs> and it was on that day, March 16th, 2025, that Stone Cold fulfilled his destiny. That is not that far in the future. <laughs> oh my God. The robots <laughs> take <laughs> over. <laughs> Well, at least we'll be freed, like, fairly quickly. Why well, would he have to get frozen? He'd still be alive. Well, maybe. <laughs> maybe he, like, had a heart problem, so they froze him. Yeah, he had, like, a Goku thing happen. Yeah, oh, so he woke up know. five years later with the same heart problem? Yeah, he dies after yeah. he wins. <laughs> Gave his life for us 20, all. 2025. <laughs> Well, everybody has that to look forward to now. Yeah, yeah it's, it's true. I, I know, I, I'm glad that that worked as well as I hoped it would. Uh. I was like, wouldn't it be funny? Because in my head I said, wouldn't it be funny if it's not that like, <laughs> like, like two or three years? <laughs> That's pretty great. Because <laughs> we did nothing to set uh, up the future world. It's perfect. <laughs> it really was. Oof. Oh, Stone Cold. Always mm. stunning robot. <laughs> <laughs> well, he fell down that chute. He shouldn't have fallen down. That <laughs> like, where did? Oh, he fell down. Oh, he tripped and, and stumbled on his way down. Oh, he fell on a chute into a park. What? <laughs> I was gonna yeah. say like there From was a, like. I mean, he was just randomly standing in a grocery food store to begin with. So. Well, that's where they stored the the cryogenic tubes. Yeah. In the, oh, in the freezers. Duh. You know what? 
I always, you know, that's on me. I always forget that. Yeah. It's, uh, you know. Well, future's not a lot of space, so. Yeah. Gotta conserve space. Yeah. Well, I mean, totally. you know, five years from now. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna run out of space, I guess. <laughs> you don't, you, it doesn't look that busy right now, but things are getting packed. That's true. I don't know. I don't follow up on all this news stuff. You guys live in New Moon City, where it's busier than hell. It is. It is busy. True. <laughs> People always moving packages. Yeah, I'm like, what are you moving all these packages for? Yeah, hey, just moving these They're packages. Like, oh, get out of here. Oh, we got to paint these stairs. Oh. <laughs> okay, cool. What's like the weirdest or scariest things that you've seen so far? Wait, where? In real life? In my life? Yeah, yeah, in your real life. In, in New Moon City. Oh. Oh, in New Moon City? Where are you, oh, man? Well, I like in um, in your day to day. Give since me exact coordinates for where I've seen. In, in the past six months of your existence, in the place that you live, what is like one of the weirder hell things that you've seen? Hell. Have you seen like I don't know, I, like a little kid walking a chicken with God, um, I like wish. A, yeah, dude, I with wish. a leash or something? I like wish. I don't know. Nah, I've just seen like people pissing. <laughs> okay, there you go. How often are, do you just see people pissing? In the, summer, yeah. in the summer, there was more pissing. Yeah, in the summer. I think, like, the maybe the first week I was here, <laughs> there was just, I was going, I was walking around the block to, like, the deli or some shit. It's like the welcome just, wagon. Uh-huh. It was, like, not even, it was, like, two in the afternoon. Sunny day. Really? Gotta go when not you gotta the, go. Yeah, not the time to be pissing outside. <laughs> yeah. They just had, like, their car door open. They were standing there. I'm like, oh, you just peeing. Oh my, maybe. <laughs> Wait, what? Like in the straight up in the street? Yeah, like like on the they had their parked on the side, like on the side. Okay. Uh, and then they had their door open by the sidewalk on the curb, and they're just peeing. Right? And they just, just like. So wouldn't there be was, splash in their car? Was, yeah, okay. Was Probably. the person? Probably. They were, yeah, they're towards. They're facing or away from their car. Facing their car to like, <laughs> they were. So they were the, covering themselves up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, unless you were coming from the other way, because then the, the yeah, fucking well, windows <laughs> are everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're peeing away from your car, you're being a creep. Yeah. You're just showing your dick off. That's true. But if you, but if you're peeing that was towards problem. your car in the little cr- like in that little corner that you make when you open it. Like, who knows? Maybe you just have an emergency. But it doesn't sound like that's what the situation was. No, no, I don't think so. But And Al, to answer your question, this is a have a gr- have good aim type of situation. I guess. Yeah. Not I guess. Not I guess. Well, no, no. I know. Because sometimes... if you fail, there are repercussions. Well, yeah. Having no, in I your understand car. that. But I was just saying, car. like, sometimes, you know, he gets, like, it's a spray instead of a stream. <laughs> just sprays everywhere. Yeah, so sometimes when that happens, you how get, long are you holding your pees for, man? Just you go when when the pee pee. Like says when you, you wake, when go. you go to you you go sleep, bro. Sometimes you get oh, some okay, spray like going you, on. The first pee in the morning. Okay, no, all right, all right, I've been there. But that guy was probably <laughs> that, that guy was spray. <laughs> that guy was <laughs> yeah, awake. you get that spray pee pee. That guy was probably awake for a while. Yeah. You know, sometimes you piss so hard that your urethra, <laughs> you know. Kind of just presses and it sprays yeah. like a like you like sh- a garden hose like when you, you put your thumb you over the you, top. Like yeah, you, you spit water out <laughs> like that mist. Just like that, it's gonna my, be great. My pee you comes know how out, your dick does that? My, my pee comes out mist. I mean, it's power. It's a powerful mist. It's like if you had a <laughs> generator in there. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah, it hurts it's a lot. <laughs> I don't like it. Me. Oh, my God. oh God! Please let me pee normal. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. I saw a bunch. Like the first week I was here, I saw a bunch of people on a heroin. I think. Well, yeah, yeah, probably. Um, no, let's stick with this pee thing. We, I got what I was looking <laughs> for. Um, who have uh, who have you seen peeing, Al? Like, what's your story? <laughs> me. Yes. Uh, yes. Um. <laughs> uh, I, I, I've seen one guy pee, but I don't remember it enough. I think actually no, he was either either peeing or pooping. I think I told. Oh story. yeah. Jeez. Yeah, I think you told this story. He on was here. either peeing or pooping. 
Oh, you already told it on the podcast? No, I, I think I may have just told Sige, but I didn't look because I didn't. I wanted I to mean, look yeah, to confirm to. if it was poop, but I didn't look because I didn't want to. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to watch somebody shit in the street. That's a huge difference in body, uh, like stance. body time. <laughs> body time, <laughs> like that's crouching or standing. So, like, which was, was it's the a little guy bit of crouching? both? Like, I I feel like he. Oh. crouched and then like pulled his pants and underwear his pants and underwear like backwards with one arm uh-huh. or forward and then like pooped and then <laughs> it just went about his day <laughs> <laughs> if i think so so wow that drive-by shit yeah he said rat-a-tat-tat as why, he was doing it why would he say that i mean it's a drive-by so that's just bananas. Well, like, that's completely effects. crazy. But it's nice to know that you can just sh- you, you can shit on the street if you have to. Yeah, have you seen anyone pooping or shitting in the street recently, Nikolai? No. <laughs> pooping or <laughs> shitting? Well, dogs. Occasionally <laughs> there's a dog that'll do it. And then, you know, usually they clean that up. Yeah, that's true. Um, and then we all just keep toilets in our homes. When I walk, sometimes we have more than one. When I walk to work in the morning, I uh, I just like stare at the ground to make sure <laughs> that there's no shit on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> Hope I don't step in it. Because there's like, more boy, times than one, nope. uh, there's been shit on the sidewalk. I don't know if it's dog or people. Right. I don't. Oh, I don't God. check. I don't check. No, you don't turn oh, your flashlight no. on. Oh, no. Yeah, but there's just some duke every once in a while. So more than once you've stepped in. No, no, not, no, 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 not stepped. <laughs> I, could I look at the ground just to make sure I don't step? Just squashed it. Okay. But it's been there. And I'd like, oh, that's so, like, yeah, listen, I'd, it happens, but clean it up. Yeah, I'd be furious if I Put stepped it. it. 4.30 in the morning, stepping in shit. That's, yeah. Ooh, yeah. That's, not that's like. You know, you're allowed to murder somebody, I think, if that happens. You could probably grab one of those rats in the garbage bags and, like, rip it in half. Probably. I think that's one of the things, like, where, you, like, a guy comes out, like, a little fairy pops out, and you get a card that says, you you can say the N-word one time. Oh, wow. Man. Like, this is, yeah, like, this I, is I, so... I still wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not chancing it. It's a trap. I, I, there's, there's I'm going to hand this back. It's a trap. It's a security camera and somewhere. Then, and then she looks at you and says, that was the right choice. And she gives you a million dollars. Oh, man. That'd be sweet. Oh, man. <laughs> and then you got me you got me and Matt who are going to like, oh, I'm going to say this N-word. <laughs> oh, I'm going to scream it from a mountaintop. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but yeah, a lot, of, a lot of poop and pee. Not a All lot, right. not a lot maybe. Yeah. But yeah. No, I mean, listen. That, More than uh, you, you know, it's, I it's, guess. It's, yeah, it's, a natural, it's a natural bodily function. So it's, you know, it's. It's not like totally nuts that it happens, yeah. but uh, it is super weird that you're seeing um, it take yeah. place as frequently as you are. That's like uh, now, it's such, not that frequently. Um, did you gander at the, uh, the the this gentleman's uh, papers when when you saw him peeing? No, no, no. I uh, I saw the yeah. stance, <laughs> and I know a pee stance because uh-huh. let's yeah. be real. Yeah, uh, you're a grown man. Yeah. Well, you're a grown. You're an adult. Yeah. Technically, yeah. I'm an adult. <laughs> Uh, not technically, yeah. man. You're 29. Like you're full blown adult. Oh, whoa, yeah, so whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't let that don't let that out there. Jeez. Yeah, he's 86. Still in my prime though. That's true. Ah, ah yeah. Ah, ah, oh, he's flexing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's flexing. Oh Good my god, looking. he's flexing. Yeah. Whoa. Gun show, whatever. Don't tell yeah. me how to grease these ganger these gan these geese. You. You grease Don't those geese? Tell me how to grease these geese. Grease them up real good. Slide them on the ground. Speaking of grease and geese, pretty excited. I don't have to work on Black Friday this year. Ooh. You should be, man. I, w- I requested off like last month. I was like, I'm going to give them like two months. I'm like, Maybe they just won't know. Maybe they won't know what day it is. <laughs> and they proved it. And I was like, fucking got it. I think they gave it to you because they dumb. appreciate you. No, fuck them. <laughs> you, you coming out for Thanksgiving then? I mean, I would, I was plan on it. See that? Oh or, yeah, good. See right. that? Or I uh, eat some chicken patties here. Alone. Well, yeah, alone when everybody's <laughs> with their families. <laughs> <laughs> Did you imagine how horrifically sad that would be? I just sit, oh. just in here. Oh look at, 
Oh, oh no. look, the big bird balloon's coming. <laughs> <laughs> She's watching the parade alone. <laughs> I, like, I like that you, for some reason, are awake at 9 a.m. on a day off, <laughs> and you're watching a parade on NBC. To be fair, I'm, like, I'm awake at 9 a.m. usually on days off. It's true. Are you watching TV at that point yet, though? Yeah. Okay. I usually right. wake up at like 8, 8.30, like Saturdays, 8, 8.30, go around the block, yeah. get an egg sandwich, Ooh. come back. So it's a... Yeah. It's a fucking... It's a possibility mm. that could happen. But yeah, no, I'll definitely be watching the parade. Let's, get, let's, get, let's be real. <laughs> if I'm alone, why not? Yeah. I. Oh man, I don't know the last time I watched the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Uh, I don't watch... I used to watch it like when I was a kid. But I'll mm-hmm. I'll throw it on, like, yeah. but I won't keep it on. Like I'll be like, oh, what's going on now? But I don't want to see people lip singing on the fucking floats. Oh, I could care less. Get to see them. I could care less about cold. the whole parade. But the it, balloons, It has dude. Uh, zero value to me in my life, but and I'm bal- also usually, it's one of the few days of the year that I actually sleep in. Oh, and then you get to see Santa though. Yeah, it comes at the end. Yeah, that, that's, that's how you know the Christmas season's here. The moon's everyone. So. Dude, you know how I know the Christmas season's here? Because August started, Ugh. and I've been anywhere in retail. Ugh. Yeah, right? I threw up on a fake Christmas tree today. I was so Did ang- you? I was so angry. Oh my I was like, Christmas, <laughs> God damn it. And I just, it came out. <laughs> They were like, what happened? I was like, Christmas happened. And <laughs> it's a Christmas. It's, a, it's Christmas. It's Christmas time. Yeah, I threw up on the tree. God, I hate it. Oh, I hate Christmas. But Thanksgiving. Like Christmas. Thanksgiving's coming, though, so that's good. Mm. I right. love Thanksgiving. Love Halloween. Um, I don't know. I'm not really feeling Halloween much this year. I didn't decorate or anything. True that. You're yeah, so I hear busy. ghouls. But um But I I um what, what was I gonna say? I don't there, Christmas has so much pressure. I just Under like pressure. it's it, and it's so fucking long. It, yeah. It's so much build up and it's one day, it's over so quickly, it, which is fine. So much better like when you're a kid. Days. Yeah, because you're like I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's for kids. Yeah, you don't gotta worry about really. shit. <laughs> it's for families. Which I, I, you know, it's, I'm not saying I don't have a family, but it's like, it's for like families with little kids and All stuff. Right, like I that's the whole I'll joy. Get to work, yeah. guys. The only thing I like about <laughs> Christmas is that I don't have to work that day. Yeah, I love that. I'm like free love day off. Love that shit. Usually get the next day off too. What up? I don't. What? Yeah, up? I mean, listen, it's horse shit. <laughs> People need to return those uh, Christmas. So yeah, they didn't return all their Christmas shit. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, hey, uh, this all suddenly broke. I don't know. Can I get my money back? All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Fine. Sure. Cool. Uh, really ooh, good. I bought some broccoli today. But, what? Ooh. There's a potato in my room, and black and why white. Why is there a potato? Black and white cookies. Why is there a potato? Chomping. Them why down. is there a potato in your room? You know, just keep it fresh, and I know where it is. Yeah, he eats, uh, he eats just raw potato sometimes. Well, I cook it. You enough. know, I cook it when I'm ready. Keep it fresh. <laughs> keep it. And I know where it is. Yeah. Now you do live in a place with kitchen cabinets. Yeah, but they're all full. Ah, uh, they're full of potatoes already, huh? Yeah. yeah. Stocked. No overflowing of potatoes. Stocked with potatoes. <laughs> That must be one of the downfalls of living with three people. Yeah. Or two other people, I guess. Is there's like No, uh, there's the secret person. That's Ooh. Here. Yeah. Yeah, we keep so who's him the hidden, secret though. person. The gnome. A gnome. Oh my god, mm-hmm. that's so fascinating. Yeah, we don't let him What's out. What's the gnome's much? name? He's so wild. What's the gnome's name? Garce. Garce? Garce. Yeah. Garce. Garce. Yeah, yeah, Garce the wild gnome. Garce yep. the gnome. No, huh. Garce. You come back, you're like, oh, yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hello. That's, that's, that's what Garth sounds like. Sounds like, <laughs> sounds like Jim Brewer. <laughs> yeah, it's nuts. Garth, he's crazy. But yeah, he uh, he pays. What a hell uh, of a dancer, though. He, he pays for uh, soap. That's his it, contribution. It's mainly just soap. That's mainly all he, just that's soap. All he uses. 
Well, he really just uses your place to wash, you know, wash himself. Up, hey, I'm so. showering. Let <laughs> me shower. Get out of here. Oh gosh. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> Classic Gars. <laughs> So that's what, is, what we've been up to. What a name! Yeah. I mean, hey, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, no, that's just. That's Do just, you guys know where Matt is this week? Uh, I think Gars might have gotten to him. What? No. Oh no! Did you give? Did he follow us? Do you think? Well, no, I gave him the address of Matt's. Yeah, his house. Okay. Well, why they, would you give Gars Matt's home address? I I don't know. He felt felt right. Yeah, it felt like. He said he needed it for something, so I was like, yeah, no, here, it's, this is what it is. Uh, he probably shouldn't have done that. He was like, I need to head, I was like, Gars. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I, was like, I can't say no to you. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. You, don't, you don't think that's why Matt's not here, do you? Oh, it's 100%. I don't know if they, how those oh, two could be connected. No, Gars murdered Matt. I mean, Matt. Oh, uh, God, maybe. no. Or like, why tie, would he maybe mur- just tied him up. There's Why would he murder Matt? Because he's silly. Yeah, and Garth was like, ah. Garth is just silly. That's that's way past silly, man. He says, ah, your hair. That's. I like the way your hair looks. Yeah, he he always pushes his <laughs> he always pushes his chin into Matt's hair. <laughs> he sounds like Droopy Dog. <laughs> Wait, was, what was the name of that dog? Uh, I think it was Droopy Dog. Yeah. over here. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Garth is different. Yeah, Garth is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you know, oh, well. that, that might be why Matt's Yeah, I know. Prob pro I'm gonna say prob <coughs> Well that's a real bummer. Yeah, I mean I haven't seen Garth in a while, so that's good. That, we that should, explains uh, that. What? We should probably I, Nikolai, you, I don't. I wouldn't feel safe if I were you. I was just about to say my only concern is if Matt gave Garth my address. Oh, I know I gave it to him. What? Why? Why are you doing this? Yeah, I'm, I, 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 which, what, I, what is he gonna do? Oh my god, Nikolai, guys, I have to go. You gotta grab something. You got anything there? I have to go. I've got to go get a gun. Oh. But, but, All right. Well, I don't. But, but why I would you? Why? I know. I know. I need to leave because I need to go get a gun. So. I don't, and I know the rules. What I don't, I don't know what. What, what are the rules? What are the, the rules? Ru- <laughs> well, the one rule of RLF: if I need a gun, I don't want to be there. Oh, boom.